it seeps from under the classroom doors, echoes in the scuffed hallways, the sounds of learning on a different scale. You hear kids tap dancing in the holes, and choir people singing and horns playing. It's just like this real artistic environment. It's not like any other public school. Duke Ellington School of the Arts is one of the only public arts high schools in the country with a mostly poor, mostly minority student population, a school of privilege for children of none. Ephraim Stevens comes here from a rough neighborhood, came here with a rough talent on the piano. I had to pick out notes until I came here and lady told me in a day, you know, a simple way to read music. And I was like, gosh, you know, where have you people been? Ephraim already played music. Ellington teachers encouraged him to interpret it. The elegance of a prelude. The blur and chase of jazz. I spend most of my time just practicing and playing. I mean, that's what I love to do. What caused the Civil War? But at Ellington, the arts are kept in counterpoint with academics. You will find that the finest artist in each of the disciplines are also the most intelligent artist. Peggy Cooper Kafritz, a Washington attorney and arts advocate, is a founder and promoter of the school. She has a perfect pitch. Use the draw of the arts to get students to come to school and learn what they may not know they need to know. Give a warm welcome to Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle came to Ellington interested in comedy. Ellington taught him Shakespeare. You know, that Shakespeare stuff comes in handy. Pronunciation. You can stay in the house and work on your social skills and stuff. The use of language is very important in stand-up. Ellington graduate Denise Graves has sung with Placido Domingo, has engagements in four European countries this summer. She says Ellington gave her her grounding. We had to take music theory, we had to take music history, some opera staging classes, and we had to learn all of the languages, uh, Italian, French, and German. Not every Ellington student gets to the professional stage. It's statistically impossible and foolish to think they're all going to become stars. So what you have to do is produce full citizens, no matter what. The school instills a strong work ethic, starting classes at 8.30 a.m., running rehearsals past 5. Ellington students learn quickly to set priorities, organize their time. One time you might have a performance and another teacher might say you have a test. So you have to pick which one is more important. Students are eager to perform on the school stage, learn the ropes backstage, and practice. Attendance here is the highest in the district. And at this urban high school, 99% of the students graduate, and 92% are accepted into college. I'm sad. I'm sad. Ellington claims success in every area except funding. Despite Ellington's special mission, the Washington, D.C. school district gives it the standard $9 a year per student for supplies. It took the dance department three years of cookie sales to buy Swan Lake costumes. We get only minuscule amounts from other government programs, and I spend a good 60 hours a week begging. Arts education will demand stronger support if, as the government plans, the next generation of graduates is to know how to express themselves in motion, color, and sound. To know the value of their own voices alone and joined. Beth Nissen, ABC News, Washington. That's